Hello YouTube. I just spent the better better part of a, probably about an hour and a half trying to find out why my Panasonic Toughbook CF19 Mark III is not having any sound coming out of the actual onboard speaker. Um, what I did is I did a few checks. First of all I went to the back here, I checked my sound port which is located under this little flap and I do have sound coming out of this port here. So that wasn't a problem. Uh, but the problem is that if you don't want to plug in speakers you know you want the internal speaker to actually work. The internal speaker is located right here and to get this to work I had to do a number of things. First of all I had to identify what um, what we had inside. So I've got Windows 7 but it's I'll show you how to find out which is actually installed on yours because it might be an older sticker somebody might have formatted it and put a new operating system on. So the first thing here is we've got the model Panasonic CF and then down here somewhere they'll actually tell you which um, which one it is uh, so whether it's Mark 1, Mark 2 or Mark 3 um, it should actually say oh here I found it here uh, CF19K so I'm not too sure um, maybe you put the serial number in somewhere and you can find out which model you have but anyway that should work oh there it is there as well I'm not sure which are the original stickers and which ones aren't uh, but yeah you have to pretty much find out what model you can find out what windows you have, find out what model we have this might work for all models, I'm not sure, there's a lot of people writing up about it on um, YouTube sorry not on YouTube, there's a lot of people actually writing up about this problem on the internet and a lot of people are saying short, short out the battery, remove the BIOS, remove the RAM and short it out that doesn't really seem to work what the actual problem is, and it's very common, is that when you have Windows 7 and you have this type or other windows as well might have it as well what happens is as soon as you push function F4 it mutes the sound and then the BIOS doesn't recognize it when you un unmute it so it's muted all the time with this one here I'll just uh, switch on with this one here I noticed down the bottom here if you can see it um, I have my little sound icon and when I was playing music and things I could push the little icon just like this and I could see the sound moving up and down but I couldn't get any so I could see the sound moving up and down here but I couldn't get anything to come out of this little speaker here alright so enough waffling um, let's go through this so first thing you got to do is you go over to here um, you go over to my computer so start button my computer left uh, right click sorry properties it'll tell you what you got I'm running uh, Windows 7 professional service pack 1 and 32 bit okay Ooh, something just got brighter okay basically the hotkeys is where it's all at so go into control panel once again go to um, device manager I'm oh, sorry no my mistake device manager under sound I was noticing that I only I only have this sound max integrated digital HD audio now that's uh, I uninstalled that and as soon as I powered back up it found it again so I'm guessing you might have the same one in there if not you can download it from Panasonic's website uh, we go into programs programs and features now the one you're looking for is called hotkeys that's this that's the magic hotkey appendix oh no I don't want to uninstall no I don't no because I just installed it hotkey appendix um, cancel hotkey appendix so do a google search for hotkey appendix uh, appendix and install it um, when it's installed properly you'll be able to push function f4 and you'll see this big icon on the screen here that's working and then with the screen I just noticed as well I push these two little buttons in the front these two and I can see it pop up there so if you're not getting sound first of all push those buttons, push function F4 and if you're not seeing this big thing pop up like this install the hotkey appendix go into your program settings, make sure it's been installed there and then you should be able to get sound from it. Let's just try Hello, and we have sound okay so there you have it I hope that's been some help for you. Give it a thumbs up if it has. If, it, if you found another method that works, put it down in the description. I had to spend hours and hours reading just to find that one little piece of information. 
install hotkey appendix and it will work. I'll show you where it's located too because I went through the hassle of that. Um, so we're going to C drive. I found it under C drive UTIL2 and then it should be HKEYAPP. So that's under um, well, computer, log C drive, UTITL2, H key app, and you should have that installed. Once you've actually downloaded it, you have to open it up and click the setup button. From there you should should be fine. You should get sound on your laptop. Okay, thanks for watching.